Hey there guys, how's it going? Uh, so let's talk about the content in this brand new week, or I suppose a lack of content to be more accurate, unfortunately. Uh, so real quickly, there's past avatar boards that have returned, so there's like Roxas and Namine and Halloween Go uh, Goofy and Halloween Donald, but really nothing to write home about there, unfortunately. I mean, unless you want to dress up as Roxas, I've pretty much seen no value in any of those boards. Um, there's the Daily Lux Challenge Day 2, which... Again, just walk up to the final enemy and use one big attack and you'll have more than enough Lux and I still don't see the point of that challenge. And finally, two returning medals that are significantly out of date. I don't know, it's... I really am struggling to see the positives of this anniversary. I, I do still think that come the Dandelion meeting on the 15th that we will get some sort of giveaway, but in terms of things to do, I really... I... yeah. I've got a tiny little sliver of hope left, but it's, it's pretty much being snuffed out, so... Anyway, let's take a look at what we do have. So we have two returning medals. So we have HD Arva and HD Gula here, which can be purchased for, you know, add max 15,000 jewels apiece. There's no trait medal or anything like that in it. It's just a straight up five poor mercy, which is the best, the, the cheapest these medals have ever been. And obviously you get one free broom with each pull. So it doesn't seem that bad on the outside, but it's like, oh man, it's pretty out of date and it's, it's pretty unfortunate, but you let me think of their usage in terms of high score challenge potential. Um, straight away, seeing these two medals, which are part of a set of five, you know, five foretellers, immediately reminded me of this. So this was the previous high score challenge for King Triton uh, not too long ago. So we had King Mickey as a 7% medal, the previous VIP medal, which was Toon Roxas as a 10%, and then 14% medals of the three previous EXs out of the five that they released. So they did release Roxas and Sephiroth, right? But then come the high score challenge, only these three that you see on the screen right now actually counted towards the 14% for that high score challenge, which is pretty strange. Like, knowing that, now that they've gone ahead and released another two out of the five prior to a high score challenge, why would we want to pull on that if, if that was the previous pattern that they've set? Even if it doesn't turn out to be true, that's the pattern that they've set so far. It makes me want to pull off these two even less than they already did because they might not even turn out to be high score percentage medals. Anyway. If we take a look at what I'm assuming will be the next high score challenge, just for the benefit of the doubt, I've said, okay, let's say all five foretellers are in there as 14% medals. And do we assume that the Venetus is a 21% medal? Because he's available guaranteed as a five poor mercy. To me, that kind of says that maybe he won't be, because in the past, right, Sephiroth was sort of a five poor mercy, at least his trait medal was, and that did contribute to the high score challenge, uh, high score challenge percentage. But this one, the actual medal can be used, which means the actual medal can be used on all five slots, not just the pet and not just the friend slot. So I still don't know whether he will be a 21% medal or not. I'm still debating that. As for what the high score challenge medal might actually be, I'm thinking it could be either Scar or Diz, which are the equivalents, uh, the reverse power and upright speed equivalents to, to the upright Magic King Triton, or possibly even that Zootopia medal I talked about before, which is the upright speed equivalent to the Warrior of Light and... Uh, Final Fantasy Record Keeper Terra. <laughs> so many things to keep track of in this game. Um, it could be those, and they're all great medals, but it, I mean, it could be something entirely new. <laughs> yeah, original content. Probably not going to happen, so... I don't know if you guys want to pull for these medals now, considering that, based on the pattern they've said, they may not even be high score challenge percentage medals. It may just be these three here. Um... If that is the case of these three here, and if you decide, do decide you want to pull on them, specifically to use them in the high score challenge, I mean, one, you probably wouldn't do that already because, again, five pull mercy right there. Like, spending 15,000 jewels is going to get you higher percentage than spending 15,000 jewels here. And you could pick up, you potentially pick up a trait medal along the way, which obviously gives you an additional 21% every single time you pull one of those. So, well, I mean, you can only use it in the pet slot, but you know what I mean. Uh... I, yeah, I don't see the point to this at all. I mean, I guess if you want to go ahead and get traits on your four teller medals, good, I guess. But yeah, it just sort of baffles me. In terms of using them for the high score challenge, I'll bring them all up just, just for the sake of argument. The three on the top, I've put the three on the top because they're all one hit medals to the best of my knowledge. Whereas the ones on the bottom, uh, Gula is three hits and Envy is four hits. Um, so obviously, using them in a high score challenge, you want the benefit of having a single hit medal. So... This is pretty much the only benefit I can think of. If you do want to pull for one of these, again, assuming Ava is in the high score percentage bonus, which they haven't given us any reason to believe that she is, she'd be the one to pull for, I believe, or any of the three on top, because I believe they're all single hit medals, I believe. I, I don't actually own any of them, so I can't test this for myself, but I believe they're all single hit medals. 
Um, and obviously in a high score challenge, a single hit medal is preferred for taking out enemies. Um, yeah, I, I definitely recommend skipping this just because to me, this seems like there's no benefit in the high score challenge. They're outdated medals as it is, unfortunately, which it just speaks to the pace of this game that tier 7 medals are now classed as outdated and as ridiculous as that sounds. And yeah, there's, even if they are going to be high score challenge medals, I don't know, there's less risk by pulling for either Era or Ased than there would be for pulling uh, Arva or Gula right now. Gula you definitely shouldn't pull for. I don't recommend pulling for Gula at all. Unless you just like the medal and just want to guilt it or have more trades on it. Again, I'm, I'm coming at this from a very competitive mindset, from like a free-to-play competitive. There is a fun aspect to be had in this game, of course. It's not all doom and gloom. So, hey, if you want to go ahead and try and pull for a Gula, you know, you got one before and want to get some trades on it or just guilt the thing, go for it, man. Go for it. Honestly, I highly recommend it. Um, I believe it comes with dots. So let's just check that real quick before I can start talking to my ass, but... Go down to guaranteed, and yeah, three dots on it, so... Okay, cool, and you can actually get both of them off this... Off the banners, which is really nice, but... I don't know, I'd still... If I'm going to be spending jewels, I'd still rather do it on... Let's say Era and Ased come out together. I'd rather spend jewels on a banner like that and potentially get all of them. That does raise the question, though. If they're going to have two four towers appearing in the simultaneous banners, then... One of them's going to be left out, right? One of them's going to be on their own. If that is the case, maybe they'll pair it up with a different EX medal. I was kind of thinking, because they already released Illustrated Kyrie, right? They already put her out. What if Illustrated Kyrie EX could be the another 14% medal? You know, because they had a, medal, a banner that looked exactly like this before with um, uh, a 5 star or above and a broom coming out. So, could be. Uh, sorry, a, a tier 5 or above and a broom in, uh, in every single pool with a 5 pool mercy, so... Maybe Illustrated Kari EX could be a 14% booster as well, but I mean, who knows? Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Let's go ahead and do the daily pool. And yeah, there's really nothing to talk about in this game, unfortunately, which is really depressing, but it's the situation that we're in right now. So let's go ahead and be disappointed again with another five-star piece of crap. And I'll see you guys later. Catch you later, guys. Bye. <laughs> Day three, still nothing.